So you just signed up for Shopify and now you're staring at the dashboard thinking like, okay, what do I actually even click first? Don't worry, I have been there before. That moment when you realize there's like a hundred different buttons and you have no idea where to even start. Here's the thing though. By the end of this video, you're gonna navigate Shopify like you've been doing this for years. No joke. In the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to know to go from complete beginner to feeling like, hey, I actually feel like I know what I'm doing here. We'll cover your dashboard, orders, products, all the essentials. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. If you don't have a Shopify store yet, no worries. I left a link for you guys for a free trial down below. Click it so you guys can get started and this tutorial is just gonna be a lot easier to follow along with. Okay, once you're logged onto Shopify, you're gonna see your Shopify admin. This is basically mission control for your entire business. So let me give you a quick tour. Right away, you're gonna see these cards showing your vital signs. Total sales, online store sessions, returning customer rate. It's kind of like your store's heartbeat. You know what I mean? And as orders start coming in, they're gonna pop up right here. Super satisfying to watch, trust me. Now, here's what most beginners miss. This left sidebar, that's your best friend. Seriously, everything you need is organized right here. Orders, products, customers, it's all just one click away. Now, before we move on, let me show you your first power move. See this search bar up top? Instead of clicking it, just hit Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows. This little search window is basically magic, guys. You can jump to any product, order, setting, anything, really. It's like having a personal assistant, and I use this constantly. Pro tip, bookmark your admin URL, like, right now. Literally, pause the video, do it. You're gonna be in here every day, so you might as well make it easy on yourself. All right, let's talk about the most important part, the money maker, your order section. This is where your revenue actually lives. Cha-ching right in here, okay guys? So click on orders in the sidebar and you're gonna see every purchase listed here. What's great is Shopify automatically organizes them by status. So see these labels? Unfulfilled means you need to ship it. Fulfilled means it's done. Everything's color coded so you can see at a glance what needs your attention. Let me walk you through processing an actual order. Click on any order number and boom, right here you see everything customer info, what they bought, shipping address, payment status, the whole deal. Now, when you're ready to ship something out, you've got two main options. If you're using Shopify shipping, which I definitely recommend because you save on shipping fees, you're gonna wanna click create shipping label button. And you can buy and print your postage right here without ever leaving Shopify. If you're handling shipping some other way, no problem. Just pack the order, get your tracking number from USPS or whoever, and then come back here and click mark as fulfilled. This little window pops up where you can paste in that tracking number. Here's another pro tip. Use these filter options up here to find your orders fast. You can sort by date, payment status, fulfillment, whatever you need. It's a total time saver when you're looking for that one specific order from last week. Once you hit confirm, Shopify automatically emails your customer to let them know their order is on the way with the tracking info. And honestly, the first time you do this, this whole process kind of feels amazing. Like, wow, I am really doing this. And okay, do you wanna hear a cute, fun story? One of my first Shopify stores that I ever started, it was like a makeup line. I promoted the living daylights out of this. I promoted it on TikTok. And I remember there were a few TikToks that went viral. I just saw the orders coming in, coming in, and oh my gosh, that feeling, guys, there is nothing like it. Anyways, I thought I would share that story because yes, it's one thing to really learn the tools, but we have to remember what we're doing this for. And leaning into a business that you believe in and love, that's what you're doing it for. Product section. This is where everything you sell lives. And adding a product, way easier than you think. Hit add product and let's walk through this together. First, your product title. Don't just put blue t-shirt, be descriptive. Something like men's classic cotton crew neck t-shirt in navy blue. You know, you wanna give people the details that they need. Now for the description. And honestly, this is where most people get stuck. You're staring at that empty box. You're thinking like, what do I even write here? But here's where it gets even easier. See this little sidekick icon right here? It's basically your new best friend. I'm gonna click it and type, write me a compelling product description for a handmade ceramic coffee mug. And just like that, Sidekick just wrote a complete ready to publish description that actually sounds good. No more writer's block and the best part is you can ask it to adjust anything. So watch, I'm gonna type make it sound more premium and emphasize that it's dishwasher safe and boom, completely rewritten with exactly what I asked for. For product images, you need clear photos from multiple angles, but what if you're just starting and you don't have professional shots yet? Sidekick's got you. Click the icon and type 
generate product image for a ceramic coffee mug in earth tones. In seconds, you've got a placeholder image to use until your real photos are ready. This literally makes you look professional from day one. For pricing, it's pretty straightforward. Your cost per item goes here. Only you can see this info. The compare at price field is for when something's on sale. This info is visible on your website. What about setting up a discount campaign for your new products? Let me show you another Sidekick trick. Click the Sidekick icon and type, help me create a summer launch discount. It'll walk you through creating the perfect discount code, suggest promotional language, and even help you set the right dates and conditions. It's like having a marketing team in your pocket. Now back to your product. Scroll down to inventory and always check this track quantity box. This prevents you from selling things that you don't actually have. For products with different sizes or colors, just check this options box and add what you need. Shopify creates all the combinations automatically. Now for the SEO section, this is what shows up in Google searches. Most people skip this, but it's actually how customers will find you organically. Instead of just guessing what to write, click Sidekick and type optimize this product for SEO. It analyzes your product and generates perfect titles, descriptions, and metadata that Google loves. One click and your product is fully optimized for search engines. You can even use Sidekick beyond products. Need an about us page? Professional sounding policies? Email newsletter content? Just ask Sidekick to write it and it's done in seconds. Pro tip, once you have a few products, organize them into collections and yes, you can ask Sidekick to help you write the perfect collection descriptions as well. Let's check out the customers section. Think of this as your store's contact list on steroids. Every time someone makes a purchase, they get a profile here. Click on any customer and you'll see their entire history, what they bought, how much they've spent, their contact info. It's like having a CRM built right in. The real power move here is creating segments. These are basically smart lists of customers based on their behavior. Let me show you how easy this is. So you're gonna click create segment and you get all these conditions you can mix and match. For example, you could create this segment for people who spent over $100 to send them a special VIP offer. Here's where Sidekick comes in super handy. Once you've created your segment, click the Sidekick icon and type something like, write me an email for my VIP customers about our new summer collection. And in seconds, you're gonna have a perfectly crafted email that's ready to send personalized specifically for this customer group. Or maybe customers who haven't ordered in 90 days to send them a we miss you discount. Another quick trick, tagging your customers. Just click on any customer, hit add tags, and type whatever makes sense for your business. VIP, wholesale, influencer, that kind of thing. Not sure how to segment your customer base? Ask Sidekick. What are the best customer segments for my boutique clothing store? It's gonna suggest segment strategies tailored to your business and even help you set them up. It can also analyze your existing customers and suggest tags that would make sense based on their behavior. You know what's wild? Most stores don't even use these features even though they are right here. This is how you turn one-time buyers into repeat customers. Pro tip, start organizing your customers from day one. Future you is gonna be so thankful when you're running targeted campaigns and actually know who you're talking to. Let's talk analytics real quick. This is where you figure out if you're actually making money or just playing store. The analytics dashboard shows you the big picture. Total sales, conversion rate, average order value. These are the numbers that actually matter. Plus, here's a cool sidekick trick. Click the icon and type, analyze my store performance and give me actionable insights. Instead of just staring at numbers wondering what they mean, Sidekick will explain exactly what's working, what's not, and what you should focus on next. It's like having a free business analyst on your team. Here's something nobody tells you. Checking analytics can become an obsession. I have definitely been there, refreshing sales numbers every hour. Don't do that. Set a schedule and stick to it. Otherwise, you're gonna spend more time looking at numbers than actually growing your business. Now let's talk about settings. I know, I know it sounds boring, but this is literally the foundation of your store. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that little gear icon in the bottom left. There's a lot here, but you only need to focus on five things to get started. Number one is general settings. Double check your store name, email, and currency. Basic stuff, but super important. Number two, payments. This is critical. Click here and activate Shopify payments. If it is available in your country, it is by far the easiest way to accept credit cards. Also connect PayPal. The more ways people can pay you, the better. Shipping and delivery. Click here, then general shipping rates and set up your zones. Create something like United States as your zone, then add rates, maybe like a $5 flat rate or maybe like free shipping over $50. Keep it simple to start. Then everyone's favorite, taxes. For most people, just let Shopify automatically calculate taxes based on your location. One less thing to worry about. If you're unsure about your tax setup, Sidekick can help here too. So you're just gonna wanna 
ask, is my tax configuration correct for selling in you know, whatever your location is? And it will review your settings and suggest any necessary adjustments specific to your business type and location. Check out. The only thing that I would do here right away is click customize and just add your logo. Makes your checkout look way more professional and builds trust. Want to make your checkout even better? Ask Sidekick to optimize my checkout for higher conversion rates. Ask it just like that, and it will analyze your setup and suggest specific changes to reduce abandoned carts from better button text to smarter shipping options. Pro tip, get your payment and shipping settings done before you launch. You'd be surprised how many people open their store and then realize customers can't actually pay them. Don't be that person. Last stop, the Shopify app store. This is where Shopify gets really fun. It's like, imagine if your store was a phone and apps are apps. <laughs> You've got apps for everything, email marketing, product reviews, Instagram feeds, upsells, literally anything you can think of. The options can get actually pretty overwhelming pretty fast. <laughs> when you're starting, just keep it simple, okay? You really only need two types. First, you need an email marketing app like Shopify email to stay in touch with customers. And second, a product review app like judge.me or Luke's to build social proof, very important. Most have free plans that are perfect for beginners. Installing is literally one click. Find what you want, hit add app, authorize it, and you're done. Once you've installed an app, Sidekick can help you set it up perfectly. Just ask to help me configure Judge Me for my store or what settings should I use for Shopify email? And it's gonna walk you through the optimal setup step-by-step. Step. It's like having the apps developer right there with you. And here are a few bonus pro tips that'll save you tons of time. Firstly, get the Shopify mobile app. You can literally fulfill orders from your couch. Second of all, bookmark the help center. It's actually really good and has answers to practically everything. Export your customer and product data monthly, just as a backup because it's better safe than sorry. And remember, the goal isn't to have the most complicated store with a million features is to have a store that's easy to manage and actually makes sales. So keep it simple, focus on the basics, and use tools like Sidekick to work smarter, not harder. If you are ready to get started now, just click the link in the description box and start your free trial today. And if you wanna learn more about how to actually build your Shopify store, we have an official one hour long tutorial that you can watch next. The link will be in the description section if you wanna see that. All right, guys, let's recap what we covered. You now know the seven essential areas every Shopify Pro masters. Dashboard, orders, products, customers, analytics, settings, and apps. Amazing, you're literally not a beginner anymore. You have the foundation to build something amazing. Now my advice, start with getting comfortable in your dashboard, then focus on adding your first few products. Don't try to you know, lean into everything and learn everything at once. Just take one section at a time. If this video helped you feel more confident to set up your Shopify store, hit that like and subscribe button and drop me a comment with your number one Shopify question or struggle that you're going through. It helps me know what videos to make next for you guys. You've got this, now go build something awesome and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.